The Pacific Northwest is known for its vast forests and rich biodiversity. This environment presents superb conditions for some of the best mountain cycling trails known to humankind. But the region faces one major challenge. Paradise is crowded. Due to encroaching development, various subspecies of trail builders are forced to build within a small area of the coastal rainforest. On the flatter terrain, we see the rule book trail builder laying the groundwork to build a spectacularly mundane trail. They are often consulting their measuring tape and code book to ensure nothing falls outside of the recommended guidelines. Don't forget, safety first. Ooh, point 0.9 downhill slope. Awesome sauce. Moving a little deeper into the forest, a manicuring trail builder prepares the land with great attention to detail. Every morning, they clear the trail of the night's fallen debris. One rogue pebble could ruin the ride. With the best ingredients, this builder creates the perfect recipe to attract flow-seeking riders. The persnicketiness with which they carve their shapes reveals how intensely they lust after success. Ah, perfect. Moving deeper still, where the underbrush thickens and the slopes deepen, there is a mysterious individual at work. The Free Ride Trail Builder. This adrenaline thirsty creature is constantly pushing the limits of what is defined as mountain bicycling. They terraform their landscape to create a habitat that is suitable to their need for speed. When gathered in such a condensed area, territorial disputes inevitably occur. Yeah, fair enough. Despite these conflicts, the builders must work in symbiosis. This is nuts! When the trail network is complete, all types of builders may ride together and enjoy the features to the Whoa. best of their abilities. Way too steep! The adrenaline-seeking freerider, the flow-seeking manicurist, and the rule-book-following trail builder have all learned to live in harmony. And though they all may not be at the same riding level, the stoke of the pack pushes one another to new heights. Their combined work leaves a beautiful network with more trails and possibilities for all forest dwellers to enjoy. It is indeed a, a delicate dance, if you call that dancing. <laughs>